injections to treat chronic back pain could be available within two years after clinical trials showed incredible results. Patients who had the treatment experienced much less agony and reduced their need for medication or surgery. Here's Gabriella Rogers. Nearly two million Australians are plagued by chronic back pain. Not even our sporting elite are immune. Socceroos great Brett Emerton was forced to retire a few weeks ago because of persistent pain. It's something which I've been hampered with over the, uh, the past few seasons and uh, it's become increasingly difficult to, to play, play at a, a high level. Sufferers often rely on medication to reduce the pain. Sometimes invasive surgery is the preferred option. Now the benefits of stem cell therapy involving a single injection are being realised. The results are very exciting and we haven't seen any results similar to this. 100 patients from the US and Australia took part in the trial. After 12 months, a majority of stem cell recipients experienced at least a 50% reduction in back pain compared to control groups. On average, daily use of opioid painkillers was reduced by as much as 42%. The therapy also significantly reduced the need for surgery or steroid injections. There were also signs the spinal disc itself was regenerating. We did see there was a reduction in the angular motion of the disc, which implies that the disc is more stable. The stem cells are extracted from the bone marrow of a healthy donor. Potent cells called mesenchymal precursors are isolated and grown in the lab before being injected during a 20-minute procedure. The therapy could be widely available in Australia within two years once regulatory approvals are granted. The Australian developed technology could change the entire landscape of back pain treatment. Again, there are no um, ethical issues like in embryonic stem cell. Uh, those kind of technology will be accepted down the track by the people. Patients wanting to take part in the next trial can contact clinical at mesoblast.com. Gabriella Rogers, Nine News. With Chinese news